prefer the news, the weather, or the sports. You can have it all anytime you want. With MediaNet, you can have over 150 functions at your fingertips. If you would like to see just how easy and simple MediaNet is to operate, just come by any of our six stores for a free demonstration. Just another reason to do business with Southeastern Sailor. Hey, everybody, it's Barry Miller and Big Boys Stores. Yes, we're here, Isla Capri Casino, Biloxi, Mississippi. You've been watching it for the last, I don't know, three months, and we're telling you we're coming, we're coming. Melanie Pankerton. Pankerton. No tea. <laughs> Melanie is the special promotions director here at the Isla Capri. Done a great job setting us up, and a lot of cruisers here too, right? There is. There's a, we're actually very excited. We have special parking for the cruisers. We have Big Boys Toys here, so we're very excited about all that. I see Big Boy's toys all over this property. Yes, it is. Give me the big head. I know, you give I me know. The, you give me the big head. can't get much bigger, but... <laughs> and the Isle of Capri, like I told a lot of you, we have Jeff Cook and his lovely wife Lisa with us down here. Hey, and everyone has been here, a couple of the people said they've never been at the Isle, but this place is beautiful. I mean, well, thank you. it's we got everything that. that you can imagine is right here at the Isle of Capri. So they said when it's not cruising the coast... Come on down. They're <laughs> supposed to be at the Isle of Capri. That's right. When you... 90 Bridge, I mean, 90 Bridge opens 1 November. November 1st, that's right. So fine. it'll be the first one you get to if you come that way. And if you come in 110, just hook a left and keep going. There you go. Don't, don't stop doing it. Just, just listen to going. Barry Miller. <laughs> <laughs> we got a great, we got some great shows lined up. We're starting this morning. We're going to be filming Plum Through Saturday. And we've got shows, who knows, like Johnny says, we never know. It might go two months, three months, you never know. but. We're going to show you a lot of cars from Biloxi. If you're not here, you missed it. We got in yesterday, and I'd, I'd say it's, what, 200 cars up here at the block party. Yes. Cars everywhere. You'll be seeing Melanie again in a couple of weeks, or I'll be seeing her probably tomorrow to do the interview, <laughs> but you'll watch in a couple of weeks. We're having a great time, so if you're not here, you missed it. Sit back and relax. We're fixing to get started. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Big Boys Toys. Tonight, your host, Barry Miller, will bring you the sleekest, trimmest automobiles from around the area that have been beautifully restored. If you love streamlined, full-force race cams, then this show is for you. So sit back, but don't get too relaxed. This is Big Boys Toys. We're in the beautiful showroom of Billy Betty Auto Super Center right here in Oxford, Alabama. Billy, welcome back to Big Boys Toys. One of the, he was the first car dealer on Big Boys Toys and he is back. Thank you, Barry. We're glad to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys. We want to invite all of our customers, previous customers. Barry, we got almost 200 cars on this lot. I've been in car business here all my life in Calhoun County and we want to invite in all of our customers, any new customers. We love to trade here, Barry. Even you, you've bought four cars from us in the last two years. I've bought a lot of cars here. And hey, you old guys, when you come down here, he's a car enthusiast too. You've got vets sitting around here, Camaras. He can show you anything you want to see, but his specialty is these late model cars that's just gorgeous. First vehicle, Gene Young, a 1955 Chevrolet, Gene. You're the first. Thank you very much. You're the I first appreciate in it. Where are you from? Raleigh, Mississippi. Raleigh, Mississippi. Is that that away, that away, or? It's about. I know it's not that way. No, no, it's not south of here. It's, it's water a, that way. That's right. It's about halfway between Lawl and Jackson. It's just a little small town. Tell me a little bit about this gorgeous 55. When you pull up in the parking lot, they, they got on this thing like a swarm of bees. Bought it uh, in 05. Uh, it was a pretty good basic car, and we did a, a 
frame off rotisserie, nut and bolt rotisserie on it. Uh, a friend of mine took the uh, frame and did all the mechanical work on it, uh, then carried the body to the body shop and uh, basically just put it back together. It's a 350 crate engine, uh, aluminum heads, Vortec, late model, yeah. uh, $700 mm -hmm. four, uh, Moser 12 boat rear end, that four wheel disc brakes on it, vintage air, got to have air. Uh, you got to have air with sport. That's right. That's why now people got to have them disc brakes with sport. That's right, we all. It used to run 100 and didn't have a problem. That's right. But now we've got so sport. When we look at a brake pedal, we expect the car to stop. You're Just right. looking down there, it's right. to stop. Now, I see your lovely wife sitting there. Tell me how long it takes her to clean that chrome. <laughs> it, it took her about an hour and a half this morning. Hour and a half to clean the chrome. Because I know you said you got her car too. It's coming up next. That's, it's a Chevelle. You said it's kind of original. Original it is. motor and all. It so is. So I figured she didn't have nothing to do with her time. So That's she right. worked on that chrome. She did, yeah. But that one's coming. Then what you yeah. gonna do? She can work on both of them, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Now, did you pick the color and all that, or? I, I did. Uh, the car was originally <laughs> glacier blue and shoreline beige. Uh, I didn't like the beige, so we, we changed it up. And we lightened the glacier blue just a bit. Uh, put just a little light blue in it. I, I think it turned out okay. I like the color the way it turned out. <laughs> Which one she like drive the boats, her new one or this one? Uh, she likes the Chevelle. Actually, she likes uh, the Chevelle. Bike. She, she doesn't like drive this one. She afraid she'll bump it or scratch it. You know, women and women are like that. I mean, they they don't want to drive it, and they haul them in an enclosed trailer. They'll come with you. That's fine, but they don't want to drive it because they're scared somebody's gonna bump it. Right. Or do something. To, what else you got to do with the car? First of all, who did the interior? We uh, looked at that too. It was uh the interior was done by Little Joe's in Pearl, Mississippi. Uh, guys it was real good. What else you want to do with the car? Anything? No. Uh, well, there's you know what? I don't guess you could ever stop. At some point in time, I think you need to. Stop. If your pockets get shallow, yeah, your pocket, money. your pocket gets shallow, but it's always someone to take that off your hand. Well, yeah, that's true. You know, especially here, wheels and tires. You actually did all that after you got it completed, right? And then picked them out. Or? I had originally intended to put 15-inch Craigers, and some of my car club friends said, said "No, uh, come on in the 21st century with us." And so I bought those 17-inch wheels and put them on, and it, it turned out good. I didn't want to over it. Over. I tell you what, it looks great. Thank you. Good-looking vehicle. Thank Appreciate you. you being on the Thank show. You very like much. I told you. He's the number one first car in Biloxi, Mississippi, and we got 99 to go. It's like 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We take one off every take time. One down. Come Saturday, my wife will love it because when I get home, can't talk for two weeks. <laughs> she loves it. We'll be right back with Big Boy Show. Piedmont Outdoors, Main Street, Piedmont, Alabama is the place to go for the most name brand products in one location. They carry steel, snapper, Mahindra tractors, John Deere equipment, clothing, and even toys. But most of all, they're the Can-Am and Articat all-terrain vehicle dealer for this area. They also have all the accessories and equipment you need for your ATV for hunting, or if you just want to be sport riding, they've got it all. It's worth the drive to Piedmont, Alabama from anywhere for their selection and savings. Go by today or call them at 256 447 7211. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. The Courthouse Cafe, downtown Aniston, right beside the courthouse, under new ownership and management. Angie Mabry and her staff have breakfast specials each and every day, lunch specials. There's something different each and every day. Orders to go, she said, not a problem. You can get orders to go anytime she's there. She was voted the best ribs in Calhoun County for 07, and she said, butts, ribs, and chicken, she's the best in Calhoun County. Give them a call today at 741. 1691 or stop by the courthouse cafe tell them barry miller sent you you never know you might catch me at eating lunch one day we'll see you there you know piggly wiggly that's a name you've heard ever since you was a child i've heard it since i was a child it's a grocery store above all grocery stores it has just about anything you want in the piggly wiggly stores go by the local piggly wiggly store in odinville center cedar bluff collinsville and the brand new store down in Asheville, and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys sent you by, and you want to see how much money you can save on your grocery bill. They have a meat department and a fresh produce department in each and every store, fresh produce each and every day, and they cut their meat right there on their location. Tell them I sent you by.
All right, here we go. We're going to have to go with this a little different. 1968 Chevelle. Now, it's owned by Cindy Young. Gene's up here for support. He's Gene Young. <laughs> and you, previous owner, Jimmy He's Shaw. He's previous owner, Gene Shaw. Jimmy. Jimmy Shaw. Jimmy Shaw. Jimmy Shaw. So Jimmy's going to tell us about the car when he had it. And she's going to tell me about the car when she got it. And is he just going to stand up here and look pretty? Wrong. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get to you in a minute, Cindy. You ain't gonna... Tell me a little bit about the Chevelle. She said you know more about it. Yes. It's a 1968 Chevelle Malibu. It's a 327, 275 horse. It's all a numbers matching car. The car has the original protector plate, kept the original title. I bought the car out of Tennessee from the original owner. So the car is pretty well all original, rear end transmission and all. So. Are you from Mississippi too? Yes. You had the car how many years? Uh, I probably had it just a couple of years. And then I sold it to another friend of mine and we wound up getting it back for Cindy. What made you want the 68 Chevelle, Cindy? Well, I had a 67 396 Camaro. And I, when I sold it, well, you can get to 55, and I said, well, you know, I'm getting me another car. And he took me to look at it, I loved it, and I said, you're not selling it. But it's original matching number car, so really, the only thing you want to do to it is just get it back up like it right. was when it was new. Right. We're not going to switch motor and no. put no. mags no. and all that stuff keep, keep driving it like it is, because yep. it's a good car. You can drive it and go anywhere, any kind of traffic, it doesn't matter. It does have an add-on air. It was an add-on air put on the car. Keep her happy, so, you know. You ain't going to find a woman that'll walk nowhere without no air. <laughs> I got a convertible sitting right there. If my wife drives that car, she'll have the top down with the air on max. Only way. Now, what all of y'all got to do with the car, Gene? Are you just going to do a frame? Are you going to do a frame off on this one or just? No. No, we'll uh, touch everything up. We'll probably eventually paint it a couple of years down the road. I may change the color. That is not the original color. So I think the original color on it was turquoise. turquoise. Uh, so we probably won't put it turquoise, but we may paint it blue or red or something to liven it up a little. That black looks good to me. Don't it look good to y'all? I like, I like the black. What was it? The Chevelles come out in 68. What was that? It's a green. It's ugly green. That's what this one was. Yeah, was no, don't paint it back that color. No, no. I, I might have seen two original ones. It was that, that color. We had to duck. That bird was moving. <laughs> <laughs> just fix this one up. The 55 is the one you take to the big shows. Right. And you just want this one to stay completely original. Right. You going to try to buy it back from her? No, I have too many already. So it's hers? It's hers. For a long time. It ain't for sale. It's not for sale. I say none of mine's for sale, but you got that the price is right. Yeah, that Look doesn't at him. matter. He said, yeah, that's right. It doesn't matter. Now, y'all's car club is where? In Smith County, in Raleigh. We're located in Raleigh. So Raleigh, North Carolina, but I'm sure that's no, not the one. No, Raleigh, Mississippi. Now, I've got several cars here that's from your club, right? Correct. And y'all going to be here the whole week? Of course. you got to stay here and check out the aisle. We had fun last night. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been in there already. I mean, my wife can get on that two-cent machine and win. <laughs> hey, she, I hope my never, she can win $32 on a two-cent machine, and, and she, you got to get her out of the floor, give them out to mouth. She, she gets excited. <laughs> hey, that's good. And that's good. That's, yeah. And every, I know the casino people like it because she's over there screaming and hollering, <laughs> about to pass out, and everybody's looking at her, and they look over at $32, and they say, she got to be from Alabama. <laughs> you never, tell you what, good looking Vehicle. Appreciate Thank you being on the show. Appreciate you coming up Thank to you. make us look better. And appreciate Always. you coming up because Thank you. you used to own it, but you don't own it no more and you no. ain't getting it back. No. Don't look we'll be like right it. back. This is Chuck Ward of Billy Isom GMAC Real Estate. Today's home sellers and buyers expect and deserve premier service. They also know that no other real estate company has more listings than Billy Isom GMAC. We have over 386 active listings in Calhoun County. That is one out of every three. No other company comes close. Delivering premier service to our clients is the reason that Billy Isom GMAC is the market leader in Calhoun County. For your premier service experience, call us or check Check us out on the web at billyisom.com. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Farmers and Merchants Bank's got four locations to serve you. Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, and downtown Jacksonville. 90 years of service. I'll tell you what, Farmers and Merchants Bank is the bank. You know, it's not like any other bank around. You can go in and they get your decision today. They make the, your decision on a loan or whatever you need right in that location. You have a personal banker that takes care of you right here. Don't have to send it to Birmingham, Charlotte, or anywhere. Go by one of the Farmers and Merchants Bank today. Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by.
You know, when someone smiles at you during the day, it kind of makes you feel great all over. Dr. Travis Phillips, his friendly staff right here in Oxford, Alabama, says stop by their office and they'll help put that beautiful smile on your face. They have teeth whitening, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental hygienist, oil surgery, everything right here in Oxford, Alabama. He has full x-rays and partial x-rays that he does right in his office and you'll find out right then what he needs to do. They got professional staff. They have a saying, go the extra mile for the beautiful smile. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Looking for a classic car? Don't know where to look? I got the answer for you. Austin Hines Motors in Arab, Alabama. Austin has 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, Camaros, Chevelles, Novas, Corvettes. Any type of classic car you could want, he has it in one location. They have over 100 classic cars in stock. They also have cars that you can rebuild yourself and restore yourself right there at that location. He's also the largest wrecker and rollback dealer for this area. So call Austin today, 256-931-2277. Tell him I told you to call. Next vehicle, Mike Talbert, a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. Mike, yeah. welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thanks, welcome sir. to the Alec Capri. Thank you. Now let's talk about that car. What do you need to know? <laughs> let's start at the front and just work our way back here. Uh, 1970 Chevelle, I got it. I bought it in uh, 98. Uh, we started a frame off restoration in uh, 04. Uh, it's got a LS1 engine, a 4L60 transmission, 9 inch Curry rear end, uh, Ride Pro Air Ride air suspension, uh, vintage air, uh, Covain classic dash, and a late model of uh, Monte Carlo interior. The rear end you're talking about was what? A 9 inch Curry. Is that so you can spin a few wheels and won't turn that nut? That's, it's supposed to hold up. It's supposed to let you spin and not worry about Break. gear going that way. And a year going that way. Did you have one of these when you was younger or it just fits your fancy or what? I've had cars all for several years. Uh, this was the first 70 Chevelle I had. I had a 67 in college. I just wish you had it back. Yes sir. <laughs> if you think about some of the old cars when we had when we was younger, if we kept them, you could retire. Had a lot of those. Oh, you could retire. Just, 67 Corvette, 67 you know, Chevelle. The ones that we took for granted and run off and stuff like that, that we sold for my near nothing. Today, it'd be worth tons of money. That's true. Now, who come up with the paint scheme and all paint job for you? Uh, I do my own paint work. I do my own engine work. Uh, I painted the car and took it to a guy out in Houston, Texas, and he did the, the flames. I did not do the flames, but uh, we brought it back and assembled it and finished painting it. And so Y'all drive a pretty good ways to get one painted, I mean, stripe <laughs> on, flame put on. Yeah, I took it, I trailered it to Texas, but the uh, car's been done for three years and it's got uh, a little over 10,000 miles on it, so we do drive. So you do drive yeah. it and go to some of the show? Power tour. Some now, of those. you actually drove it down here now too, right? Or yes. Y'all don't haul them around here? No, we drive, we're not but about 150 miles from here, so we're not. And it's a whole lot better driving it because when you go down the road with seven, eight old cars, they got to stop and look. Pay attention. Right. You can they, have a car show anywhere you stop. Yep. Stop to get gas, it takes forever because somebody's going to ask you something. Correct. About that car. Right. And you really want to stick your card in there, pump it, and get gone. Now, what color blue you call that? It's a blue-gray mix. That's a, it's actually a Chrysler color, but it's Patriot Pearl Blue, and the top is a Galaxy Silver. Not Ford Galaxy. No, it's that Chevrolet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see me say Ford, he went, he went, he went to nod, and you mentioned Ford yeah, around right. that car. Now, how long did it, you said it took you, what, three years to get it all done? Uh, we, I did the car in about 13 months. I bought it in 98, but we didn't start working on it until 04. What, you just wanted to get everything together first? or All your parts rounded up. A lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll round up parts for two years before right. they turn a bolt on it. Right. Because they say, well, we want to do this, we want to do this, and I want to have the part. Don't want to have to wait on the parts or the money. And you picked out the wheels, too? Craigers? I did the wheels. Craigers makes anything look good. That's right. Those are the new style that are chrome, so they are easy to clean. Remember back the old ones we used to put on cars? Well, they were chrome back then, but... Yeah. I mean, back then we used to throw them rally wheels away. Right. Now if you buy a set of them, they, they, look good on, well, they look good on Cindy Chevelle now. Right. <laughs> I say it all the time back home, you put a set of rally wheels on a Volkswagen, it look good. That's right. I mean, rally wheels right. make anything look good. Interior, did you do it yourself? Yes, sir. I did the, the seats are out of a, a 2000 Monte Carlo, the consoles out of a 99 Camaro. It helps. Y'all must be real polite in Mississippi because he's saying, sir, and I know I'm not old. And he's saying, sir, so y'all just, right. my daddy you're not me. respecting your elders, yeah. you're just trying to be nice, right? My daddy said if he looks older than you, say, sir. <laughs> Good. Hey, one good thing about that, we can cut all that out. And, we, and, I, and I can say, you know, say something like, 
If your daddy says I look older, don't say sir. That's right. And when that show comes on, it's going to look like I said it to you. There you go. You can. That'll be fine. We, we good. Yeah, that's right. We're courteous. If you, see that guy back there with them headphones on? If you don't, you, now you can drop him a hundred and he'll make it look like you got dark hair and I don't no, he can't make it. Got you no ain't got hair. no money. I was about to say, you ain't got no hair up there. He can't make it dark. Uh -huh. So nothing else you want to do to it? Uh, no, sir. Just drive. Drive and have fun. That's right. Another interesting thing to the car, it was stolen in May at the year one experience. And uh, three of my buddies had their car stolen and they, they haven't heard anything from theirs. This one went about 200 yards from the motel and quit. We got it back. <laughs> I had, a you cut, did, you I, had a, I had a cutoff switch on the fuel pump, and when the guy turned the headlights on, he cut the fuel pump off. Oh, so that quit it. Yeah, it quit That's it. just like my vet. I can sit here and crank it sitting right here, mm -hmm. but you you can get in it. But if you put your foot on that brake to put it in gear, it's going to cut off. Right. And if you ain't got a key, it ain't going though. Right. So your buddies lost their three cars. Right. Jimmy Shaw, the guy was just up here, lost a truck, and another buddy of mine lost Jimmy, a you lost one too? He when lost. you come to Biloxi, Mississippi, <laughs> you stay at the Isle of Capri, you park Security. your car here, you got Jim over there and his boat. We let our set there last night. And about, how about a shut up? We ain't going yet. But they got security to watch them for you. And if someone steals your car, Jim, Jim tell you who it was. He got it on camera. I mean, you, you can't beat it. The Holiday Inn didn't. <laughs> yeah, Holiday Inn ain't got no camera, brother. Well, you give them a hit for nothing. I'm sorry. Okay. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Thanks, we'll be right back. St. Clair County Farmers Co-op at the intersection at Harvick Road and Highway 78 in Pell City, Alabama. I tell you what, co-op's what it means. It's got anything you want. Science night food for your pets. They have tack. They have feed for all type of animals. Deer hunters, they got tree stands. They got clothing, camo, you name it, it's there. Cowboy hats, blue jeans, tools, hardware needs, anything you can think of, they've got right there at the Farmers Co-op. Call Matthew or one of his staff today at 205-338-2821. Tell him I told you to call. Crawford Office Supply right here in Anniston moved into the brand new location, 2,500 square foot building right there on Layton Avenue. Anything to deal with office supplies, Crawford has it right there in stock. Pens, papers, pencils, anything. Scratch and dent furniture, brand new office furniture, filing cabinets, you name it, it's right there. They have free delivery also for all the products. Hey, if you need something they don't have in stock at Crawford Office Supply, guess what? They can order it. One or two days, they got it in stock. Go by the day, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, something that's on everyone's mind all the time is insurance. I've got your answer. Two great agencies are now one. Reason Black Insurance Agency, 111 East 7th Street, Anniston, Alabama, can handle all of your insurance needs. They have auto, antique insurance, homeowner's insurance, and mobile home insurance. You know, the Alabama law now is everyone has to be insured. So if you have never had insurance before or had a problem get insurance, call them today and get a free quote. Contact Jim, Jason, Sharon, or Geraldine. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call and see if they can help you with all of your insurance needs. Call them today at 256-237-0972. L.C. Hall Harley-Davidson right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley-Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley-Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display. Buy a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want. Helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys with Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Charles Harley Davidson today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Next vehicle, Mert and Maddie Cloffin, right? That's right. I got it right on the head. 1944. That's Pick right. Truck. I got Mert here. I got Maddie sitting right back over yonder under the shade tree. Say she's camera shy. <laughs> she's camera shy. I bet yes, she like sir. riding around this rascal. Oh, that's her truck. Yeah, yeah right. If she's in hearing distance, it's her truck. If she's nowhere around, it's mine. Maddie, I like your truck. <laughs> I tried to get her to kind of wipe them bugs off my vet while she was sitting over there, wasn't doing nothing, but. She didn't, she didn't move, so no, I don't recognize that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't Tell happening. Tell me a little bit about your truck. Uh, it's a 1940 Ford. It's, uh, we bought it in 2000. It was about halfway finished, I thought, but I've finished it twice since then. It's got a 400 small block Chevrolet engine in it with a uh, 350 turbo hydromatic transmission and a Nova rear end. I tell everybody that what makes it show is Ford, what makes it go is Chevrolet. You got old saying too, built Ford tough with Chevy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now and the rear end you said was a what? It's a note from a Nova. I don't even know what year. Most was, people it, want to put them Ford rear ends in these Chevrolets because you know why? No. Because uh, it's the toughest rear end made and you've got to have one to handle that Chevrolet motor. Oh, is that right? 
Oh, yeah. That Nova handles it real well. But the, really, I've had several people tell me, really the reason is that you can, like this truck, if you try to build a 351 Cleveland, you can build that 350 a whole lot cheaper, exactly. sounder, than you can build a 351. Exactly. That's why most of your street rods and all go with Chevrolet motors. That's right. And we've since we've had that truck, uh, we've put 29,000 miles on it. If you see it's on a trailer, call 911 because it's been stolen. Somebody done <laughs> stole the man's truck. That's right. Okay, the, y'all picked out the wheels and tires and everything? Yes, sir, uh, we did. Uh, she likes it. We kind of tried to keep it looking simple but clean, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we elected to stay with the original body style and uh, all that. It's got the original Ford frame under it. The only thing we did is put a uh, Fat Man Fabrication uh, Mustang 2 front end kit under it. Mm -hmm. Now, where do y'all live at? We live up in uh, Meri Equipment, Mississippi. It's right near Meridian. Right near Meridian. That's correct. So y'all actually drove it down. Oh, yeah. What yes. do you think about cruising the coast? We I know love it. it. We love it. A couple years it. ago, it got hurt because of Katrina. But, and like I tell everybody, I come because I want to help support these people because they need us here. That's right. We love it. We've been coming here since 1999, and the only year we missed was the year that Karina, uh, Katrina didn't miss. I come down about a month after Katrina and brought some stuff down from a show I did in Alabama, and it looked like a bomb went off it, it's, in it Gulfport was... and Biloxi, Mississippi. Well, I took a lot of film back and kind of showed it on the show back here to let the seat what it looks like now. Go That's on. right, yeah. And, and the bridge out here, I can't believe it. And it looks like we're gonna be going across there pretty soon. Yep, one November, I think, uh, Melanie said they're gonna open that bridge. Yeah. And uh, Greg Crone, a good friend of mine, the mayor of Biloxi, was talking about me coming back down when he opened the bridge, just That'll drive be great. across it. Be, That'll be great. They had old cars when they opened the Bay St. Louis Bridge. First thing that crossed it was a bunch of cars. That's right. Old we, street rods. We made it that weekend. We didn't make it for the opening, but we made it that very next weekend. And everybody had a great time. Oh, yeah, we had a great time. What else you want to do to the truck? Anything? Well, I think I've done about all to it that I can afford to. If I do any more, I'm going to be upside down. Oh, she got money. Look at her. She's sitting down there saying, I'm going to go in the casino and <laughs> win about 5000 where you put more stuff on your truck. <laughs> well, I just put power our steering under the front end for her this time so who uh, picked the color out you heard she did that was that was the color it was when when she first saw it it was uh, in a friend of mine's shop she saw that truck i was looking at a two-door ford at the time she said no way that's the truck i want so her birthday was coming up i bought it for her birthday so the truck is going home with us the truck is going home with us that's right now y'all did all the cosmetic and all that stuff too. well i have a very good friend of mine up in stonewall mississippi a ronnie goldman he did all the the hard work and uh, in spite of my help the only thing that i did was uh, i finished the floorboards in the back so i did all the woodwork did good i was looking at that earlier when it was sitting out there thank you appreciate it tell you what good looking vehicle appreciate you being on the show thank we'll you we'll be so right much. back You know, 90% of most homeowners don't know they have a pest or termite problem until they have a very expensive repair bill. Why not let the professional staff at Rice Pest Control inspect your home before it happens? With 50 years of experience in Northeast Alabama and with their free termite inspection for new customers, don't you think it's better to be safe than sorry? Call Tracy Rice today or one of his sales staff. Tell him Barry Miller told you to call. Hey, if you mention Big Boy's Toys, you get 50% off your first initial service. So call him today at 1-800-850-4661. Triplet Paint and Decorating right here on Wilmer Avenue in Anniston is your home improvement headquarters for this area. They have DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado paints that go on good and look great once they're on. They also have all the materials needed to do that special job around the house. Carpets, they carry Shaw and Mohawk. Hardwood floors by Robin, so everything is in one location. Remember, DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronado paints are used by professionals all over the United States, and it's one of the best on the market. Stop by today, Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to stop by. Robinson Gas, downtown Ross Street, Heflin, Alabama is your gas headquarters for this area. They have water heaters. They also have on-demand water heaters, furnaces, gas logs, fireplaces, all major appliances. Hey, they got routine delivery on appliances too. 24-hour emergency service. They also lease their tanks. They got a special going on right now for the summer. It's called the summer field. Your gas is $179.9 during the summer field. They also have what they call a prepay field. It's $189.9. If you don't have all the money, Mark's got a deal for you. 20% down, you got three months to pay. Contact Mark Robinson, one of his staff today. Tell him Barry Miller told you to call.